are you a home buyer and you're like hey i want to get in on those sellers concessions let's have a little discussion around it here we go welcome to my channel clark the realtor don't forget to subscribe and let's get started all right you guys let's talk about seller concessions i feel like i'm always telling you guys short on this youtube channel because i'm having these discussions all the time with home buyers with family members with friends and i'm always talking real estate every day and they're like you just need to get on youtube and just talk because you have it's so much great information you have so much knowledge you have so many experiences you have so let's talk about this seller concession situation because a lot of home buyers nowadays are just saving for their down payment and they're not looking to even save for any type of closing costs per se, because they're thinking they're going to get the closing costs or the seller concessions from the seller. And seller concessions can be a numerous amount of things. It could be closing costs. It could be a quote unquote carpet allowances. It can be different type of things that you can kind of put into the terms of the trend of the deal when you go to purchase a house. However, a seller concession is not always guaranteed in the form of even closing costs. So we have to, as a home buyer, we have to get that out of our head. Nowadays in this market, we're in right now, currently it's 2024. We're in a, a market that's kind of uh, turning a little bit. It's softening. Things are readjusting. Stuff is starting to normalize. And, um, and some things are very slow. There are certain markets that are very slow. So you have new construction that are given incentives. So they might be giving you those closing costs, those concessions. They might use, utilize those incentives to possibly HOA fees, different things that they might, you know, tell you when you come to the new construction. But typically to get some of those concessions, you have to go with their preferred lender. And that's a whole other topic that I'm not going to discuss right now. <laughs> Pause. What exactly are closing costs? So closing costs are fees in which the buyer's lender charges them to be able to close on said loan. So these are the lender fees. These are the title fees. These, these are the appraiser fees and such and such. So as a buyer, when you're going through this process of obtaining a home loan, these are fees that occur on your end. The seller is being generous enough to give you concessions to cover those costs in which you personally as a buyer incur when you take out the loan now back to the original program you as a home buyer should always put the money aside just in case right because again those concessions are not guaranteed and especially on the resale side right we are seeing more sellers that are personally selling their property that on the resale side that are willing to give those seller concessions but a seller concession is not guaranteed and when there when it was a hot market in 2020 2021 a little bit of 2022 uh new construction they weren't giving you this these many incentives these many uh seller concessions per se resale uh properties they weren't giving you these seller concessions people were paying over asking price over appraisal price which is crazy i would never uh suggest you pay over an appraisal price especially if you are on the terms of a uh, of a loan and even if you're buying cash i wouldn't all i wouldn't want to be the highest cost house on the block because you're going to have to it's going to take time for the rest of the neighborhood or subdivision per se to catch up to you so i wouldn't personally do that but to each his own you have to make your own decision uh, based out of your own knowledge that you have in your market, right? But when it comes to these seller's concessions, because I have to get it through my buyer's heads, right? We are going to try to ask for it, but we got to realize it's not guaranteed. So I typically tell people you should save up to about 7% of the purchase price. And that should help to cover your down payment and also your closing costs. Uh, but you always should base that 7% off of the purchase price, right? And so, um, but you should never get in your head or get comfortable to think that a seller is going to give you seller, uh, they're, they're going to give you concessions or closing costs or anything because some sellers won't do it. You know, you might go to a person, a person that might be personally selling their home by themselves. They might not have an agent. They might be doing a for sale by owner and they might say to you, I'm not giving you any closing costs. I'm not giving you any concessions. So what are you then going to do when you hear that information? And if you haven't saved the, a lot of the amount of money, somebody else can come in that might already have that saved and kind of take that situation from you. Or even on the resale side, uh, someone working with a realtor, you know? So it's always great and, and it's always in your best interest to understand that you as a home buyer should always have your money saved in regards to your down payment, in regards to your closing costs, and not think that the seller is going to give you any seller concessions, closing costs, just to be on just to be ahead of the game. Hopefully that gives you more understanding around seller uh, closing costs. Again, as an agent, personally working with me, I will ask the seller for those closing costs, but it's not guaranteed that it will happen. 
and right now in this market, like I said, if you go to new construction, they're offering you these incentives, but on the resale side, you may or may not get it. But as an agent in this particular market that we're in right now in 2024, or really in any market, I'm always gonna see if we can possibly squeeze some uh, seller uh, closing costs in there. And I also do my research in regards to any other comparable properties in the area that closed. I always look at how much they closed, that, what they closed that, if they got in, if they gave the buyer any um, type of closing calls, what type of terms they close with, whether it be FHA, VA, conventional. So I'm always diving into the research to make sure it makes sense in regards to asking for closing costs too. Just did that with my last home buyers that bought. They bought in an area where I noticed that a lot of the sellers were given between a certain amount of closing costs. So when we went to put the offer in, we initially went in with closing costs of 5,600. However, after they accepted the offer with the 5,600 and closing costs, the agent on the other side did not want to give any more closing costs. So then that's when I hit her with all the facts and all the information and all the uh, closed properties in that area from the subdivision that it was in to outside to just the general area itself. And I said, hey, either come down with the price or you can hand over an additional closing cost that my buyers need because of the knowledge that I see here from everything around, this is what it's typically going for. So if you have a great agent that can kind of pull that information, then you might be possibly able to obtain that seller closing Again, cost. It's not always guaranteed. I just want to jump on here to let you home buyers know it's not always guaranteed, but as long as your agent understands the market, as long as they're effectively doing the research and always just ask and see, you never know. Nonetheless, Thanks for coming to the channel. Hopefully you got some information out of this video as a home buyer looking to possibly get seller concessions, any type of closing costs when buying your house. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel amongst friends and families that you might have. Hit that notification bell to know when new videos drop on the channel. And if you need any advice or any information around real estate, you can always reach out to me. My email is below. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.